Here's the thing. Not too good match for our tank. But anyway, it's plenty of mediums. Hope we can still penetrate. With armor piercing round. I can't even guys, I'm literally in tears. Like I have seen that video six or seven times in a row now and still, oh my god, who is this guy? <laughs> who, the, who the fuck is this guy? And as you can see, I'm getting one shot the pie artillery since October 13, 2011, 4.35 p.m. But still, I simply cannot believe that this was my very first episode. I got one shot by RT and everything that you saw. So guys, if you are still questioning about can I upload videos to YouTube, can I be a YouTuber, I believe the answer is clear. Yes, you can. Come on guys, if this guy can do it, you can do it as well. Ninety eight is is my record at the moment. Oh my fucking god. One hundred thousand and two subscribers. We did it guys. We fucking did it. One hundred and one. Yes guys, today was the day when I was able to hit one hundred thousand subscribers. One hundred thousand subscribers with my YouTube channel. It feels crazy to say that out loud, but um, I was able to complete my ultimate goal. Actually, I believe I haven't said that before, but hitting 100,000 subscribers was my ultimate goal, end goal, pretty much, with my channel project, or I don't know how to call it. Every single subscriber after 100,000 is going to be bonus subscriber for me, and really really awesome that you guys still keep subscribing uh, but uh, hitting 100k was something special for me and I was able to do that I really didn't set any goals any dates uh, when I was going to hit it I just knew I would like to hit it eventually before I'm going to die <laughs> pretty much I wanted to see that live with my own eyes and I was able to do that no sleep whatsoever, but I was able to do that and it was worth it. 110%. It was worth it. So guys, today's episode is going to be a little montage or... Not montage, like... I don't know, compilation of some of my moments, uh, games that I have featured on my channel and how it all started and so on. Uh, it was actually really awesome to edit this episode and to download all those old videos. Takes me back some really awesome memories and some really what the fuck I was thinking moments as well. I had great laughs downloading all those clips and editing this episode. Uh, so anyways, let's get going. And for the start, I am seeing so many comments under my videos at the moment where you guys are saying congrats for hitting 100k. And now I say thank you, thank you for all your kind words. It is hard to answer to every single one of you, but the message is the same. Thank you, simply thank you. Actually guys, one more quick thing before we jump into the episode, deep into the episode. Please let me know, and I'm serious over here, dead serious. Please let me know why you subscribed to my YouTube channel. I would genuinely like to know why you did it. Honest answer in the comment section down below. No lies, just I would genuinely like to know why you subscribed. Thank you. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. I uploaded my first episode in October 13, 2011. 
I was able to hit 100 subscribers after three months uploading my first episode. And it took me roughly 45 episodes. I had to upload 45 episodes before I did hit 100 subscribers. Nothing came easy, really nothing comes easy nowadays as well. It is pretty hard to get like your first subscribers. So it is the hardest uh, thing ever unless uh, you are doing something extremely awesome, extremely different that goes viral. Then you have a chance to get really good boost from the get-go. But usually if you start with gameplays like I did and, and so on, it is hard. So 45 episodes, 100 subscribers. And my first 500 subscribers came uh, 3 months after hitting 100 subscribers. So 3 months to hit 100 subscribers and 3 months to hit uh, 500 subscribers. So all in all, my first 500 subscribers took me half a year. And after that, it kind of stopped. I was standing around 500 subscribers for months, actually. Uh, I was uh, gaining subs, I was losing subs at the same time, so yeah, I was just uh, simply standing still. Uh, but I really didn't give a damn because I was still enjoying my hobby, I was uploading videos, and I was uh, trying out new things, new games, and so on. Uh, I was still enjoying the living hell out of it. And actually, one of the most frequently asked questions is. Is this your job? Is uh, YouTube your real job? No. This is my hobby, 100% hobby. And hopefully this is always going to be my hobby. And I believe this is the reason why I am able to enjoy it so much. No pressure whatsoever. Nothing is going to be broken if YouTube is going to die. Let's say we are not able to put ads on videos anymore or something. And I believe this is why I'm able to enjoy doing what I'm doing over here so much. No pressure whatsoever. I can up upload whatever I want without uh, like worrying too much. You know, I believe, I hope you understand what I mean. I, I really like uh, trying out new things. Uh, I have so many different series. I tried to count them all down, but I lost my count at 22. So I guess I have, let's say, 25 plus different series ideas on my channel, which is freaking crazy if you're going to think about it. Uh, so yes, I have been trying out new things, different things that you haven't seen before. And in the future as well, you're actually going to see, I know, uh, two series ideas that I would like to make happen. And one you already know about, World of Tanks Olympics, uh, so stay tuned for that. And, and some other things in my, in my mind uh, that I would like to test out that you haven't seen before in World of Tanks. Hopefully. I don't think so at least. But anyways, to end this question, yes, YouTube is my hobby and hopefully this is going to be my hobby. I believe not a lot of you know that, but there was actually no ways to make money for me through YouTube. Because YouTube didn't offer partnership for my country. And I'm not sure, maybe they're, they're still not offering partnership for, for my country. Uh, so I had no ways to make money anyways. For first three years I did YouTube or something like that. So three years I really didn't even think about making money. And I believe this is the way to build your channel as well. The moment you're going to think about money, maybe things are going to fuck up, I don't know. But I got saved or I got picked up by networks. Uh, networks started offering deals, partnership deals uh, for channels like my channel. And, and I got picked up by Curse Network and I have been with Curse Network from the beginning. My only network and I don't think I'm ever going to leave it because they decided to accept me when I was uh, nobody. So thank you for that. Thank you for believing in me. And uh, yes, so this is, this is that topic. Let's move on. As I said before, you have seen so many different series on my channel and different games as well. If I counted correctly, I have uploaded or you have seen 17 different games on this channel. Starting with World of Tanks, of course. You have seen Skyrim. You have seen Battlefield 3. Call of Duty. War Thunder. 
League of Legends. Yes, one episode of League of Legends. One episode of Hearthstone. Tropical 5. World of Tanks Generals. FIFA 15, if I'm not mistaken. You have seen Heroes and Generals. World of Warships. Armored Warfare. Star Wars. That new Star Wars. One episode of that. You have seen Men of War Assault Squad 2, uh, Crossout and World of Warplanes. Yes, World of Warplanes is also on my channel. I have one episode or maybe two, I don't remember. So, quite a lot of games and I would actually like to add even more games in the future like Armor 3 because Armor 3 is one of my all-time favorite games. I have so many hours in Armor 3 and I still enjoy the living hell out of it. It is just one game can be so huge, you can do so much in one game. Amazing, I, I really like it. But a lot of different games on my channel, a lot of different series and a lot of different episodes. Some of those episodes are really really crazy and made me laugh a lot. And uh, actually I'm going to show you a few episodes, uh, like this Type 59 clip on the background that you're seeing at the moment. This was one of the craziest moments actually. I do not know how I was able to survive all that action versus E75, Tiger 2 and whatnot. Just crazy with no HP whatsoever. And this was my episode, uh, my, my final episode I uploaded before I decided to take uh, a little break from YouTubing uh, because I had just so much stuff to do in real life. But as you were able to see, I was able to kill Die 59, Tiger 2, E75 and I'm going to kill this guy as well while I have only one HP. Eventually that uh, T25AT is going to kill me but well who cares. Next up, the best RNG moment that I have ever uploaded to this channel, in my opinion at least, is over here. Artillery versus IS-2. Random kill? What happened? Let's take a little bit closer look. So tier 9 artillery versus tier 7 heavy tank. Artillery is going to fire AP round. Boom, here it goes. IS-2 is actually going to bounce that AP round. Well, this is RNG as well for the start. But that AP round is going to fly all over the map into the enemy artillery, who is actually behind the hill as well. Can you fucking believe this RNG? I still cannot believe it. I still cannot believe that this moment happened. What are the odds? crazy and uh, now from I don't know four years ago maybe I had one series called the world of tanks moments uh, it is kind of like world of tanks RNGs Jesus at the moment but just one mini clips and uh, this clip was awesome as well 1e100 was able to one shot two mouse tanks how epic is that <laughs> Once again, pretty sexy RNG moment. Uh, not one-shotting two tanks, but one-shotting two mouse tanks with one shot is pretty nice RNG, in my opinion. But uh, moving on, this video, what you're watching on the background right now, is batch 9.3 trailer, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this uh, video is special because after I released it, Wargaming decided to invite me to their uh, community contributor program. I am really happy and really thankful for that. And actually, if I watched uh, this episode again today, I have to say, damn, some really good work over here, at least for me. So let's check it out a little bit. Not too bad, right guys? <laughs> and I have some other crazy montage episodes as well, like this one. Oh boy, we go way back with those montage episodes. Uh, by the way guys, how many of you still remember this video? 
World of Tanks Future Award System. Do you remember when they released uh, those new ribbons uh, for pretty much playing the game? You were able to get achievements and stuff like that. So I decided to mock them a little bit. And I decided to add my special awards as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, it received uh, quite, uh, quite epic feedback back in the days. I was able to get 20,000 uh, 20, plus views, which was huge, really huge for me, and uh, over 200 sub uh, not subscribers, uh, likes in the first day when I uploaded it, so it was just mind-blowing for me, because my average like count uh, after a few days uh, in one video was usually 100, around 100 likes, and to get 200 likes in, in under 24 hours was crazy, just mind-blowing. But yeah, a little funny episode that received nice feedback from you. So all in all, I was uploading videos, I was trying out new things and so on. But when my channel was really put on fire was after I released two special episodes. World of Tanks Stereotypes and World of Tanks Face-Off. I believe a lot of you guys who are watching this video at the moment are over here because of those two series. My first stereotype series was artillery stereotype and it was just, feedback was just crazy. I have never seen anything like this on my channel before. Just crazy amount of views in the first day, second day, third day, it kept going, it kept going crazy. Just never seen anything like this before and, and it was new to me and I enjoyed it, it was awesome. But a few days later or maybe one week later I uploaded my very first face-off episode. 15 KV2s versus 15 OIs. And what happened with uh, that episode? I was able to hit 100,000 views in two days. Once again, first time, never seen anything like this before. Feedback was just amazing, the amount of comments, likes, views, like, wow, I couldn't believe it, and I was super happy at the same time, of course. My first stereotype episode was about artillery players, and today as well, people are still saying that artillery stereotype episode is the funniest episode on my channel. My favorite stereotype clip is actually T-95's clip in the uh, Tank Destroyer stereotype episode, where I was able to vacuum clean my room while driving with T-95 into the first position. I don't know where I was able to get the idea from, but... <laughs> God damn it! Need to clean it up really quickly. I am still laughing over that clip, so that means something. Uh, but I was uploading stereotype episodes, uh, face-off episodes, and when I uploaded my face-off episode number 10 everything changed. My face of episode number 10 was one mouse versus 29 M4 Shermans. This episode seriously blew up. I actually didn't see that before, before today, because I knew this is my most viewed episode, but I didn't know that I have one episode on this channel that has over 1 million views. At the moment, it has 1,019,000 views. I didn't know that before. Last time I checked, it had around 800,000. So pretty huge jump. But this is the most successful video on my channel. One mouse versus 29 M4 Shermans. Once again, seems like uh, you guys uh, haven't seen anything like this before. So uh, this is why it was special. I believe so. But uh, this video blew up, it blew my channel up, and actually after that I released yet another new series called World of Tanks Challenges, where I try to complete challenges what you guys are asking from me to do in the comment section below, like uh, HE100, P top damage done, uh, VK challenge, so that means no hard whatsoever, uh, no stopping, only ramming, uh, no stopping, only shooting and moving, uh, those kind of videos. 
Yeah, a lot of different episodes, series, videos, games on this channel. And now we are at 100,000 subscribers. I know that I have done all the hard work over here, but you guys, you guys are clicking that subscribe button and I have to say thank you for that. And I believe I have to finish this episode now. What is it like over 20 minutes already? Jesus Christ, this is like mingles with jingles. <laughs> but uh, guys, do not worry. There is going to be one epic, amazing, awesome 100,000 subscribers celebration video, event, stream or contest. I don't know, call it how you want. Prize pool is going to be amazing. I try to get as many prizes as possible. I know what I would like to get and I know you guys are going to like it. As you remember, I promised something for my birthday as well. I said I'm going to stream for my birthday where I'm going to give away uh, things. But a lot of you guys actually said I should combine those two events. My birthday event and uh, my 100,000 subscriber event. I should combine those things and I think this is really good idea from you guys. I'm actually going to do that. So that means even more prices. For this event, I have so many different ideas with it, one better than the other, but before I'm going to uh, release it, I need to know my final price pool. And uh, this is going to take some time, so guys, please be patient, stay tuned, it is going to be here, you, you can be sure, or I am going to eat my hat. But I'm not going to eat my hat, so you know what that means. But guys, I believe I am finally done with this episode. Once again, I thank every single one of you for those epic, epic memories. As I said, editing today's episode was just <laughs> amazing. Was amazing. Really awesome memories uh, throughout five years. Just crazy times, crazy, crazy times. And actually, one more question, one more really frequently asked question is, what I enjoy doing the most? Now, cliche answer would be communicating with you guys, reading uh, my comments and all that. So, well, this is pretty obvious. But uh, what I enjoy doing the most is actually editing. Editing and recording. Yes, I am weird one like that. I like to edit, to try out new things. I like to learn more about editing and so on. So, this is my answer. Anyways, I fuck off now. Sorry guys, I wasted so much of your time. I don't know how many of you decided to watch this episode to the end. I don't know, maybe one or two people. But uh, take care, thank you for watching and bye.